The next one is uh, Jacob. Jacob, about Tor. Hi again. That's a really tough. That's a really tough act to follow. Man. So um, I spent some time uh, while at DevConf learning about uh, Google Maps API, which is not really that interesting, but it made it really easy to display some data that I was interested in. If you could zoom in on South America, that would be cool. So um, just like since I have only a short amount of time here, I wanted to get a sense of who's familiar with Tor. Um, is everybody here? Great. All right, so I don't need to tell you about what Tor is. That's it. excellent. Um, for those following along at home, please read our website at torproject.org. Um, but basically, um, I wanted to do some data visualization to sort of understand the clicks that exist within the Tor network. And um, could you drag the map a little bit so we can see New Zealand also? Like just a little bit, a little out. So one thing you'll notice is that we have very few nodes outside of North America and Europe. And this is incredible. We have, uh, this, this plot's about 1,000 nodes. This is for the um, V3 consensus protocol. So it doesn't include all of the Tor nodes around the world. But um, South America is very poorly represented. We have about, say, seven nodes in total in South America. And if you zoom in on any other part of the map at all, like if you could zoom in on Europe, if you could zoom in on Europe, that would be fabulous. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, the CCC has done uh, kind of an incredible job here with getting Tor adopted by people in that if pretty much every town in Germany has one Tor node. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. Like, could you zoom in here a little more? Just, just uh, click on the map. Double click there a couple okay. times. Should zoom in. Well, all right. It's too dense for you to do it, so you'll have to use the. Thing. But there's basically like uh, hundreds and hundreds of nodes per small section of Germany. Um, so one thing I was looking for is for people that are running nodes that are not in Europe or North America, or who have servers that are not in North America or in Europe, and they would be interested in running a Tor node. And I'd like to. Uh, talk with you about how you could share some of your network bandwidth uh, in order to help people that maybe need to use Tor. Uh, this includes like journalists, it includes people who want to do research on topics where they require personal privacy, like maybe they want to read Wikipedia articles without letting people know who uh, they're interested in reading about or topics that are sensitive in their pr particular area. Um, and uh, doing this data visualization made me realize that we have a bunch of users from these places. Um, um, obviously in Germany, but we also have a lot of users in China. We have users in South America. We have users in Africa. According to the maps that I did, which might be incorrect, we have basically not very many nodes in Africa at all. It looked like one. Um, so if anyone here would be interested, I would love to, I can help you set it up. We have Debian packages, and uh, I'd love to talk about like the risks and rewards of doing this, and I think it would be pretty fabulous. So anyway, thanks. Thank you.